Hey, what's happening guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And I got the 1660 Ti. I know in my last video I said I was considering it. Maybe you won't get it, but I did get it. It is a, a, a decent price, around 280, uh, 279. There are higher end models around 300, but I primarily wanted to show you my data as far as mining performance. I might do another video on gaming performance, but there's plenty of reviews on that uh, particular topic out there from common tech tubers, and they do a much more professional job. So I'm just gonna share my mining data in this video. With the 1660 Ti being priced at $280, it's a decent buy, but there are some variables you want to consider. Now, I'm going to go over the data, uh, temps, and pretty much anything else that I can share with you, but the first tidbit is basically I was having issues with it. I know the day one drivers um, gave reviewers problems, but the most recent driver that NVIDIA launched for this card is uh, 419.17. And I had to obviously update uh, Afterburner, but even with the update, both NVIDIA and Spectre, which I do prefer for fine-tuning my mining uh, or my NVIDIA graphics cards for mining, I, I prefer NVIDIA and Spectre over MSI, both of them were having issues on three algorithms, Kakaru 29, MTP, and Ethereum. For some reason, when I would overclock it, uh, even with a TDP set at 75, if you look at the bottom window, I have it set at 75, don't look at afterburner, it would push past it. And sometimes I would set the overclock to 120 on the core, and it would just wind up pushing past the 75% uh, percent TDP and go up to 2100 or past it and crash. And CUDA driver errors, minor cr crashes, whatever. Uh, so I'm still fine tuning. I, do, I am not an expert in every single algorithm or every single miner that's out there. So if there's something that you do see, I ask that you respectfully uh, let me know in the comments if there's any command line parameters or any information that you could share. If there's a particular uh, algorithm you want me to test and all that stuff, I will also have a link in the description below to the Reddit. Just like I did with the RTX 2080 and RX 590, I will be posting my data on a Reddit post. Um, and I will be asking for your input and obviously you know what you want me to test, parameters, algos, miners, the whole nine yards. So feel free uh, to hit me up on Reddit or in the comments below. But sh just showcasing after um, you know the, the testing and awesome miner here and pause the screen if you need to. I'm not going to shout out every single algo algorithm. Um, the card performed as far as power like a 1060, so around 90 watts. Uh, and that's not only testing from software, that's also testing from the wall, which I'll put that up on the screen as well. I do wanna share my information with the, the team working on the Prog POW uh, integration for Ethereum. Uh, I did run the testnet application and they do say where to report it, which I will be doing at a later date. Uh, but the 1660 Ti on Kakaru 29, which is on your screen, I was using B minor because G minor uh, didn't like it too much. Uh, I was getting around 3.3 hashes with a core clock of 60, memory clock of 300. When I upped the core clock to 100 and then memory to 600, uh, I got 3.45 hashes. Now the memory could be dropped and the, the, the core could probably be dropped to 80. I found the sweet spot for this card to be about 80 on the core, plus 80 on the core, and either plus 200 to 600 on the mem, depending on the algorithm. And every algorithm performs differently. So again, I'm still testing, but this card is new, and it's given, it's given me some issues depending on the algorithm, as I mentioned. As you can see here in the upper left-hand corner, let me get out of your way. Uh, so the MSI afterburner was crashing, uh, fluctuating between you know, 28 to 30. MSI afterburner kept crashing every time I put the core above 100 megahertz. But the, you see in the bottom left here, I uh, got plus 80 megahertz, uh, but plus 1100 megahertz on the memory. Still same 90 watts. And then the MTP algo about 1.8. Again, the, the, the wattage or power consumption is 90. Pretty much the power consumption for most of these algorithms are anywhere between 82 to 90, somewhere in there. And then Prog POW, of course, this is the testnet um, 
11.94, 11.93, somewhere in there, uh, with a core clock of plus 80 and a memory clock of plus 200. Anytime I did plus 100, eventually the program would crash. And then the X16R, I was getting about uh, 1817, which is equivalent to a 1070, as I mentioned before. But again, keeping in mind that we're only pulling about 86, 88, 80, um, 89 watts from the wall. Um, I did do Equihash uh, 144 for Bitcoin Gold, and I was getting about 33, 34 souls, uh, depending, uh, with a core clock of plus 60 and a memory clock of plus 200. And it's, in short, a 1070. That's what the 1660 Ti. So it's, it performs like a 1070, but with less power draw. Uh, I believe you can get a 1070 down depending on the algorithm anywhere from 110 watts to 100 watts uh, and get relatively the same hash rate as the 1660 Ti is producing. But the 1660 Ti can do that at a lower power draw, saving you a few watts here and there depending on the algorithm. So now the question becomes, do you buy a whole bunch of these cards and start up a whole new rig or a whole new station and, and start mining? My recommendation is no. Because you can get a whole bunch of 1070 secondhand, like 200 bucks. You can get RX 580s if you really want 30 mega hashes of Ethereum, or if not more, 32, 33. You can get the RX 580, and you can get that uh, secondhand. I think below 200, or uh, if some of the vendors are still selling around like 220. Um, so I would recommend if you're just looking at this card and considering it for mining only, that you look elsewhere. A price comparison uh, with other. Uh, choices out there like a second hand and then second hand market but if you're somebody like a veteran who just wants to build a new system and they want to get a new card for not only gaming but then mining on the side then the 1660 ti looks promising as well as a newcomer coming to the scene wants to build a new computer the 1660 ti looks uh 60 1660 ti looks promising these naming oh my god um anyways this card performs very well at the amount of cons power consumption it has and it performs just like a 1070 and it started out less than three hundred dollars so it's a card that I would say keep your eye on if the price drops to below 250 then consider it but at, a, at the current market right now um, ROI is gonna take a long time especially depending on your electricity there's a lot of variables that come into play nobody can just say hey yeah you're gonna make your money back on this because it depends on your electricity uh, it depends on where you stay uh, you got solar are you using like it this there's, there's all kinds of variables you know you know are you fine-tuning it are you pulling you know max draw uh, I I'm definitely not going to say this card is something you should get specifically for mining but it's a card you should consider if you want to build a new system and you're going to use it for gaming and mining or rendering. Uh, it's definitely a great uh, 1440p uh, card, 1080p card, but 4K not so much. We already know all those gaming metrics from other reviews, but for mining, these are my inf this is my information, this is my data. Hit me up on Reddit. I'll have it linked in the description below. I'm going to post my data up there uh, soon. Uh, and I'm also, you can hit me up on Twitter at CMVJax. And let me know if there's any algorithms you want me to test, any miners you want me to test, any command line parameters you think I should be using on any of these miners, um, you know, any insight that you might have. But as far as overclocking this card, it's a little bit indifferent. I would, it, it's not, it's like the 10 series, but it's, it's not. Um, I don't know how to explain it until you actually get your hands on it. So I will continue to test, and then I will continue to update my Reddit post. Um, there's no need to do an updated video on it, to be honest, because it's essentially a 1070 at a cheaper price uh, than it launched at. Not at a cheaper price comparing secondhand and now, but at the, at the cheaper price when NVIDIA launched a 1070 compared to when NVIDIA launched a 1660 Ti. It starts out at a cheaper price, but performs like a 1070. But it's two years later, you know, then you're getting the same performance as a 1070 uh, for you know, more than what we would have bought the 1060 at launch. So it's a couple pros and cons. Pricing, it's obviously a con. Uh, pro is is that it can mine very well at, at a 1070 pace, but 
uh, with lower power draw, but then there's a lot of issues where is it needed right now? Does it does it have a niche? I know Nvidia is just trying to push the 580 out of the scene, but the five the RX 580 is still one of the best mining graphics cards that you can get. I know it can't do every algorithm the best, but um, you know it's it's still one of the better buys at you know sub two hundred dollar mark. Anyways, I just wanted to share my data with you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Definitely let me know if there's anything you want me to test. Hit me up on Reddit or Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.